Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first installment of Michael Rissi Presents. As you can see, I'm standing in front of the Grand Canal in Venice, Italy. But wait! Now I'm standing in front of the Great Wall of China. Movie magic. For you, not for me. I had to go through customs and several hours of jet lag. These backgrounds don't just shoot themselves, you know. This is the Taj Mahal, of course. Very crowded. Sorry about that. And this is one of the most beautiful places on Earth, Shoreline Beach in Santa Barbara. This also happens to be the location of my newest motion picture, Edgar Allan Poe's Annabelle Lee. Now I know what you're thinking. How can this be Edgar Allan Poe's movie if he died over 150 years ago? I ask that question myself sometimes. Well, the answer is Edgar Allan Poe never really died. Because he was such a great poet, his work lives on. And for that reason, our executive producer, Bill Bordy, decided that we should take Poe's very last poem, the last one he wrote before he passed from this world onto the next, and make a movie out of it. The name of that very last poem Annabelle Lee. It's a haunting poem about love and youth and the mysterious death of a beautiful girl. My job was to take the gothic spirit of Edgar Allan Poe as my guide and come up with a brand new story, incorporating all the great elements Poe is known for, like nightmarish imagery, intrigue, demented villainy, in contrast to precious innocence, and of course a trail of clues almost impossible to link together that eventually lead to a chance for justice to prevail in the end. Well, I could tell you more, but wouldn't you rather just see the movie? It sounds so good. I think I'd like to see it again myself. Fortunately, I can, because Edgar Allan Poe's Annabelle Lee is now available online at Vimeo On Demand and also on DVD through Amazon.com or through our website, AnnabelleLeeMovie.com.